Welcome to a podcast under Module 1, The Process of Conducting Research. And in this podcast, we're going to do two things. Now, I list six goals here, six learning objectives. The first two of these will be addressed in this podcast. Our goal will be to define educational research and describe the importance of educational research in today's environment. Some uh, subsequent podcast will cover the next four learning outcomes. Now, what is research? This definition came right out of the American Heritage Dictionary. Scholarly or scientific investigation or inquiry, close, careful study. Well, that doesn't tell me much. Uh, when I look at the verb to engage in or perform research, it's almost uh, almost circular in, in uh, description, isn't it? Uh, you, what is it? Well, go to page two, and when you go to page two, it tells you to go back to page one. I think this is a much better definition of research, and it comes right out of Wikipedia. Uh, a lot of researchers tell you not to use Wikipedia. Uh, there are problems with quoting out of Wikipedia, but you know, guys, right is right. Look at this definition and judge it on its own merit. Research can be defined as the search for knowledge or as any systematic investigation to establish novel facts, solve new existing problems, prove new ideas, or develop new theories, usually using a scientific method. Uh, the primary purpose for basic research, as opposed to applied research, is discovering, interpreting, and the development of methods and systems for the advancement of human knowledge on a wide variety of scientific matters of our world and the universe. It is the search for knowledge. It is a systematic investigation, and it can have several different goals. It can be defined as basic research or applied research. It could be quantitative or qualitative. You'll understand those terms soon. But remember that it is a systematic search for knowledge, a systematic investigation in the quest for knowledge. We live in a day and age where knowledge is abundant. Some of that knowledge is factual. Some of it is not. Some of it is intentional misleading. And how do you know the difference? Uh, again, what is research? Well, the researcher asks a question. The researcher designs a research methodology appropriate for the question. That is the systematic scientific approach to solving a problem. You collect data and you investigate how the data answered the question. Well, that, that's still, I don't think, quite as good a definition as what we found in Wikipedia. Another definition of research is that research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information in order to increase our understanding of a topic or issue. That might be a good definition. Now, again, what is it? I like this definition again. A search for knowledge, a systematic investigation with the goal of establishing novel facts, solving new problems, or existing problems. Now, why is research important? Well, research adds to our body of knowledge. Uh, it addresses gaps in knowledge, places where things are not known. It may expand knowledge about a specific subject. It may replicate or validate existing knowledge. And it adds voices of individuals to knowledge. So it adds to the body of knowledge within the body of humanity collectively. Research also should help improve practice. Educators can uh, apply these ideas to their jobs. They can utilize these insights into their instruction. Or they can connect with other educators. There's a lot of ways that research might improve uh, practice. And research should also help inform policy debates. Policy makers need to know the real facts, not the popular facts, but the real facts. And research enables people to make informed decisions regarding policy. I think you can see from this that research is systematic inquiry for knowledge and that it has very, very, very many benefits in informing practice and guiding policy.